Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at how to create an object like this in Blender 2.82. Okay, so I will be going over the basics of how to use a 3D program, uh, how the interface works, how to create basic objects, how to manipulate basic objects, and in the end, uh, create a simple and interesting object like this. Okay, so I believe in uh, project based learning. So whenever you want to learn anything, it's good to have an end product, right? So in this tutorial, the end product is going to be a 3D model, uh, which looks like this. And I have used a reference to create a model like this, right? So I looked for a toy train engine and I found this image. You can see that I have simplified the train engine so that we can create this in Blender without using any advanced tools, okay? Uh, there are some basic objects that are available in Blender and I've only used those basic objects. I've not edited any object, all right? So in this tutorial, we will only look at the interface, create objects, change colors, move them, rotate them, scale them, and create this object, all right? And in the future tutorial, we will look at how to create exactly the same uh, look of this train engine. And then you can take this further and then use this image to create the other elements as well. Okay. So let us get started and see how Blender works and how you can create this object. So I'll go and go to File, New, and I'll say General. And when you open Blender 2.82, this is the interface that you get. Uh, this is the viewport where this is the working area. And you need a three button mouse to work in a 3D program. So first get hold of a three button mouse. Uh, uh, what I'm doing right now is uh, clicking the middle mouse button and looking around my scene. So I, I can see that there is a box. There is a default light and there is a camera. Okay. I can select an object and click outside and deselect an object. If I use the shift key on the keyboard and then click the middle mouse button, I'm moving the camera around. There's another camera other than this one through which we are looking at this scene. Okay, and you can see it's called perspective. So it's a perspective camera. And I can pan the camera. So the camera is being moved around. And now here, the camera is being dollied around. All right. And then if you scroll in and out with your middle mouse button, you can zoom in and out into that object. Okay, so this is the basics of a 3D program. Okay, if you use the Alt key, you can then go into orthographic mode and it says now you are looking at the right side of the cube and then you can look at the front side and you can look at the top. Okay, and then you can see where the light and camera is and how it changes. Okay, and then if you simply click and drag, then you can look around the scene. Now let us look at how to, uh, if you look here on this side, you can see that you have the location uh, XYZ coordinates, rotation XYZ coordinates, and scale XYZ coordinates. Okay, so if I click on the move tool, I can move, and now I move the box in the Y axis, in the negative or the positive direction, or in the X axis, negative or positive, or in the Y axis. Okay, so you can always Click and type here and make it zero. And now you are in the center of the object. Okay. So you can click and drag here or simply type zero. Same way you can rotate it. If you click on the rotate tool, there are three axes. You can rotate along the camera view, which is what I would never suggest because it messes up all the uh, X, Y, and Z axis. So you should always know what you are doing with your object. So I suggest you use the blue line so it only moves in the Z axis. I'll hit Control Z to undo. 
red axis to rotate go x and y axis to rotate y okay and same with the scale you can make it short or long in x y or z and you can undo that as well okay now the next thing we will look at is how to duplicate this object so you can use the shift d key and duplicate it and then if you right click it goes back to its original place and then you can simply move it out okay so you can do shift d right click and then move it out you can select multiple objects by using the shift key so all the three objects are selected and now you can move all the three objects you can duplicate all the three objects and copy them again okay so i'll go to file new general don't save it so we are back to the basics we have a cube there's we have not done anything now we will look at how to change the color so if you go down and click on this circle here it says material properties all right so each object that you create will have a specific material and a specific color so if you look at this object we will consider this to be the red cube so i will first double click on material and say red material okay and then i'll simply change the color of the material to red however you don't see any change in the scene you have to go here and click on this shading mode where it becomes red so now we got the first part of our object done which is the red box now we will create the blue box on top so what we will do is first we will go to the front view and you can see in the front view the object this is supposed to be the ground line and this object is below the ground line our red cube there is some space between the ground and this object and then this object is there so our object has to be somewhere above the ground we don't know where yet so we'll just move it somewhere and if you want to be precise you can go to this object properties box and then specify a distance so we can think about a distance this is one by one by one the cube size so this box is one so i think the cube is two by two by two so we can leave half down and this can be one and this is two okay so we need one so half one and a half so we can say 1.5 Oh, this is two okay so this this square is two so we'll say so this is one so we'll make it three three is a better number zero one is on the ground line we need to go 1.5 up and then we can go 2.5 further up this is where i want it then we will create the second one okay so shift d is to duplicate right click to bring it to its original place now this moves and sits on top so you can see it is 4.5 now the color we go here and then we will go to add new and we will name this blue material make it blue then we'll select this and remove it so it becomes blue okay shift and middle click will pan 
and then just the middle click will look around. So what we need to now scale this down. So how much we need to scale it, we have to decide. So this looks like say half. So we'll again go to the properties and we will scale it to say 0.25. Okay, more than half. And then it will sit on top. So this becomes 3.75. If you want to be precise, it's not really necessary to be precise. You can simply place it on top. All right, now we need this object is a complex object and we cannot create a default object like this. So I just put a monkey on top. So if you go to add mesh, here you have the cube, cylinder, cone, torus, and the monkey. So I'll click on the monkey. Okay, that's the monkey. It will sit on top. We can scale the monkey. So you can click on scale and then make it big. Doesn't matter how much you are scaling, just uh, scale the monkey. This is yellow in color, so we will add a color to the monkey. So we will say new and type yellow. Yellow material, make it yellow. Okay, so we are done with the monkey. Now we will create the base. Okay, so we will shift D to duplicate, right click to leave it in place, move it down, and then we will scale it. We'll go to the box and make it 0.5 in scale. Not location, but scale 0.5. Okay, and then this scale will be twice. So we'll just say true. Move it in front, move it up. This is brown in color, so we will have to add a material. So select the object, go to the material panel, click on the plus, add a new material, name it brown material, make it brown color. And we'll remove the red and then it will get the brown color to it. Okay. So this is little longer than this, so we can make it 2.5 okay and then we need a cylinder in the front so we'll go to add mesh cylinder and the cylinder is added shift key to pan rotate just to get enough space to work here and move the cylinder up and now we need to rotate it so i'll click on the red line and rotate it you can see that it is this one so i'll make it 90 degrees okay you can look around to see that it is on that box it's in the middle here so we can scale it further No, this is not engineering, so you can just ignore the dimensions and just make it look visually correct. So let us look at the color for this. It is green. So we will create a green color. So add a new green material and make it green. 
okay so this is done this is a blue C. I will use a cone for it so you can go to add mesh cone okay you can move the cone up and we need to invert it so I'll click on rotate and then invert it and then here I will rotation will be 180 degrees to move it upside down and then we can move it inside so that it looks nice okay so we got most of it done all we need is the four wheels so again we can use this cylinder shift D or you can create a new one it's up to you so I move it there rotate it 90 degrees scale it if you want to be precise I can say 0.2 and now it has same color as the red box so if you go to materials you can simply click here and then select the red material instead of the green material then you place it down shift duplicate okay looking at the size that looks good then you'll have to select both and move it close move it down and then again I'll move alt key and then look at the front because I want my train to be on top of this crowd here so I'll select this two shift D right click to deselect and then move it here and these will be outside the box because if you want to animate it we want it to be freely moving all right and that's about it we have very quickly created a very simple object in blender by using basic objects we learn the viewport how to change the colors by adding materials we learn the basic move rotate and scale tools okay so hope you enjoyed this tutorial and keep tuned for future tutorials we will learn blender and create amazing interesting objects and scenes and learn in depth how to create a high-end 3d rendered animation thank you very much and bye bye